Hi everyone, I'm Kirsten Heim. Thank you for joining me for the April 7th ACL Weekly Update. As a final reminder, this Saturday, April 10th, the slip assignment day and sublicense assignments will take place at 10 a.m. in the clubhouse with sublicense assignments to follow. If you are able to attend via Zoom, please do so as current COVID-19 guidelines restrict in-person attendance. For access to the Zoom link, view this week's Appleseed. The April Apple Corps and 2021 service directories are now on their way to your home. The service directory is a great tool for our property owners to utilize as it highlights goods and services our members may find useful. Starting on page 29 of the service directory, you will find the advertiser's index that includes categories from accountants to window cleaning and everything in between. We hope our members find this publication handy. Last weekend, the golf course opened for the season. It was a beautiful weekend and many rounds were played. As we get into spring and summer a bit more, think of us when it comes to golf events. On Saturday, April 10th, the golf course will kick off the season with the spring kickoff four-person scramble. Then next month, the Jack and Jill two-person scramble will take place on Saturday, May 15th. Please contact the Pro Shop at 815-492-2477 regarding registration for these events. Join the ACL PO Foundation for a really fun time on Saturday, May 1st. The Foundation's first annual May Day auction will include silent, bucket, and live auctions in addition to 50-50 raffles, bonus games, and a happy hour starting at 5 p.m. To get a peek at some of the awesome items up for bid, visit their Facebook page, ACL May Day Auction. And now, I would like to introduce Sean Nordley, our General Manager, with the GM Update. Hello, this is Sean Orley, General Manager here at Apple Canyon Lake. This week I want to talk about uh, voting for the declaration. It's still going on. We just had a special meeting of the voting members this past Saturday, and we still have not reached a quorum. Uh, we are making a, another mailing out to those that have not voted for the declaration. So if you have not, you'll be receiving uh, new ballots in the mail uh, in the next few days. Please send that in. There's also a envelope in there with a stamp that you can just send them right back here to the office. If you come into the office, you can bring them in and just give them to the uh, staff here, or you can drop them in the drop box. In that envelope will also be your registration for electionbuddy.com uh, if you prefer to vote online. You'll also still continue to get the emails from Election Buddy uh, with your ballots and uh, giving you the opportunity just to link in from that so you can vote that way. We still need quite a few votes, so we're asking everybody to vote for this. If you have questions on that, please contact me. I'm happy to answer those for you uh, and tell you what the changes are, explain what those changes are. Another thing that we're adding to this is uh, an incentive to vote. Um, when the last time that we did the declaration in 2011 and 12, the association purchased airline tickets and anybody that voted was given, uh, uh, put in a raffle for the opportunity to, to win those. When the legal commission was working on this uh, last fall, we talked to our legal counsel and asked if that's something we could do. And he said that no, the association could not spend their own money as an incentive to vote. but if it was donated, the money was donated, we could do something. So the Legal Commission met a few weeks ago and uh, one of the members said that they had been contacted about a possible donation to get people to vote. And so we now have a donation of $1,200 that are going to come in the form of gift certificates. So uh, this is how it's going to work. Anybody that votes for the declaration, and that includes those that have already voted, you'll be already in the raffle. Uh, will be put in this raffle. Uh, the raffle goes until September 4th, which is uh, the Ice Cream Social. We're going to announce the winners at, uh, at 4 o'clock at the Ice Cream Social. It doesn't matter how you vote. If you approve or you disapprove of the declaration, that doesn't matter. You just need to vote to, to be eligible for this raffle. And the prizes will be um, $300 gift cards to Apple Canyon Lake. There will be two of those. And then there'll be two $200 gift cards to Apple Canyon Lake, and then two $100 gift cards to the Cove. So you'll have all, all fall to use those either at the Pro Shop, the Marina, or you could use them for your assessment next January if you want. And then at the Cove, you'll have the fall, or else the following year you could use them uh, once they reopen. So um, something just to get people to vote, an incentive for you. Hopefully you take advantage of that. And again, everybody that votes will be eligible. So those that have already voted for the declaration, you'll be already in the raffle. 
those that haven't voted, please do so before, um, you know, as soon as you get these or sometime this summer so we get you in the raffle. And then again at the Ice Cream Social, we'll announce those winners. So, um, and again, if you have any questions about this, if you had not sure what you're voting on or what the changes are, please contact me. I'm happy to help you with that. Or else we still have the town hall page set up on the website where you can go in there and we've got the documents with strikeouts. We have clean versions and we also have some documents explaining those changes. So uh, trying to get everything out there so you know what you're voting for and know how you want to vote on this document. Thank you very much. Everybody have a good day. As we inch closer to peak summer season with all our events, look to our Facebook page for additional event information. Event pages for each of our events will be posted as we make our way through the year. As of yesterday, Meet the Candidates, the Earth Day Spring Cleanup, Campground Commission Pancake Breakfast, ACL Garden Club Plant Sale, and the Community Garage Sales have all been posted. Be sure to click Interested or Going to receive additional notifications as the event dates approach. Speaking of the ACL Community Garage Sales, we have had many interested participants inquiring about this year's registration form. In today's Appleseed, there is a link included to download the registration form. This form is also available to download via the ACL Community Garage Sales event on our Facebook page. Physical copies are also available in the office lobby. Once filled out, submit your registration form to the Association office by Wednesday, June 2nd to be sure your listing makes it on the map. Have you met the candidates running for the Board of Directors? If not, join them on Saturday, April 17th at 10.30 a.m. in the Clubhouse. At the Meet the Candidates Forum, you can directly ask questions to the candidates in the running. If you're unable to attend the forum but would like a question read to the candidates on your behalf, questions can be submitted electronically until 3 p.m. Friday, April 16th by emailing your question to officemanager at applecanyonlake.org. To learn more about each candidate, visit applecanyonlake.org forward slash MTC 2021 where you can read their bios and watch their intro videos. This has been your ACL Weekly Update. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to hit subscribe, and we'll catch up next week.